Today we'll be talking about Jack Dorsey, Kanye West, and a lot more. Welcome to the Ibble Bit Show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Let's get to it. Jack Dorsey, the billionaire CEO of Twitter, is donating $3 million to fund an experimental universal basis income program that could impact 7 million people. By guaranteeing incomes to a large percentage of citizens, this could help close America's growing wealth gap and lift people out of poverty. It could also cushion the economic career blows from the coronavirus crisis. However, critics say it could also compound America's financial crisis by encouraging people to stop working. In news on the other side of the world, a man driving in Australia says he was forced to use a knife and a seatbelt to fight off a deadly brown snake that was coiled around his leg while driving a truck in Queensland, Australia. The eastern brown snake that bit him has the most powerful venom and can cause progressive paralysis and is responsible for causing more deaths from snake bites than any other species in Australia. Police pulled him over for speeding towards the hospital but let him go after they heard his incredible story and saw the dead snake to prove it. So who wants to go visit Australia now? In an exclusive interview with Forbes, Kanye gave the lowdown on his presidential run. First thing first, Kanye won't be running with a Democratic or Republican party. Instead, he's running under the birthday party because Kanye says when he wins, everybody wins. Things on his to-do list if he wins is ending police brutality and the death penalty. He's also pro-life, so he wants to get rid of Planned Parenthoods because, I quote, they've been placed in cities by white supremacists to do the devil's work. His tax and foreign policies haven't been developed yet, but Kanye plans on having the strongest experts in each field come up with a solution. Divers search California Lake after Glee star Naya Rivera goes missing on Lake Peary. While boating with her son, Josie, dive teams from throughout the region are assisting in the Ventura County Sheriff's Department through a mutual aid. According to authorities, the search for the actress resumed at sunup. The California Office of Emergency Services is also assisting in the search. Healthcare workers on the front line of the coronavirus pandemic are encountering shortages of masks, gowns, face shields, and gloves, a frustrating reoccurrence of a struggle that haunted the first months of the crisis. Nurses say they're reusing N95 masks for days and even weeks at a time. Doctors say they can't reopen offices due to the lack of personal protective equipment. State officials have scoured the U.S. and international suppliers for PPE and struggles to get orders filled. Experts say the problem could worsen as coronavirus infections climb. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention is revising its guidelines on reopening schools after President Trump tweeted his disagreements with them. Vice President Pence said, the president said today we don't want the guidance to be too tough. Pence said at a news conference at the United States Department of Education that this is the reason why next week CDC is going to be issuing a new set of tools five different documents that will be giving even more clarity on the guidance going forward. Thank you guys for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos on our platform. I invite you guys to showcase your talents and passions, gain a new audience, dive into new interests, be current, start some trends. Thanks for tuning in to the Ibble Bit Show. We'll see you next time.